Hi, I'm Shri. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my recent experience of starting training for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If you have ever wondered what it's like uh, to start training for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or you wanted to try Brazilian Jiu Jitsu but you're waiting for a small nudge, this could be the video for you. On the other hand, if you are an experienced uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu athlete and want to uh, give some useful tips for uh, someone who is just starting out in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, you can watch this video and uh, give me some useful suggestions that would be super helpful. So before Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I used to train Taekwondo at Stanford for about one and a half years. It all started with a friend who wanted to uh, see if I was interested in uh, trying out a Taekwondo class. So at that moment in my life, I was at the stage where I would try anything as long as it made for an interesting story. So what happened later was absolutely amazing. I did not uh, expect anything of that sort. The training was super intense, but after the training, I felt so calm and collected and uh, so happy. I just cannot explain it in the world. If there was any sport I thought I would die on the spot, it would be martial arts because it was that intense. After every session of Taekwondo, I was so happy, I felt like crying. I'm not exaggerating. I haven't come across any such um, athletic activity which was that intense. And that experience left a mark on me. After about a year and a half, I stopped training Taekwondo because every time I did a roundhouse kick, I could hear uh, my knees crack a little bit. And I, it just scared me and I just wanted to take a break for a while. Taekwondo also uh, was a very uh, humbling experience. So one thing I learned uh, from Taekwondo was you can never uh, estimate uh, how dangerous someone can be uh, depending on their size. In Taekwondo, everyone was like super skinny and lean and the amount of damage they could do was uh, mind-blowing. So that was my introduction to martial arts training. So after that, I started CrossFit and I've been doing CrossFit for about 7-8 years now. In the last uh, couple of years, I've been thinking about uh, picking up martial arts again uh, and BJJ has uh, sparked my curiosity for a while. So most of the athletes I respect also train BJJ. For example, Jason Khalifa. I used to train at his uh, CrossFit gym. He is a BJJ purple belt. Uh, Mike Isretail from uh, Renaissance Periodization fame. Uh, he also trains Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. All the notable other people, uh, Joe Rogan, Anthony Bourdain, and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, all these people, they speak very highly of BJJ. I've been wanting to try BJJ for a while. I also stopped training CrossFit uh, because I wanted to carve out some time for uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. After moving to Hawaii, I learned that a lot of people here are into powerlifting and uh, wrestling and grappling sports like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai and kickboxing. So I found a gym which um, has all the powerlifting equipment I use frequently. They also offer uh, BJJ training. They also have a sauna. If I could build a perfect gym, this is what the gym would look like. It would have all the powerlifting equipment, it would have all the uh, BJJ training and sauna and probably a cold plunge. So I joined uh, BJ Penn's uh, UFC gym at uh, Kaka Ako. The, that's, that's where I've been training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I tried one gi class and one uh, no gi class. I like gi better because uh, the gi class was more uh, structured. You have a warm up and then the coach is going to show one uh, movement for the day and then there is a sparring after. Nogi also has a structure but I felt uh, more pull towards Gi Jiu Jitsu. After spending several hours uh, on doing research on which Gi to get, I got the Origin Gi uh, during Thanksgiving sale. So during my research, one thing that could have been helpful was um, to find out how the gi size maps to uh, my regular clothing size and I could not find any uh, video that could uh, help that so I'm going to make a video on how the origin gi fits on me um, so if you're interested in origin gi you might find it helpful so at this point I have attended a couple of uh, gi classes and I try to go at least two times a week I'm slowly getting comfortable with learning different kinds of guards chokes and practicing it and I can also confidently say that whatever I experienced at the end of a Taekwondo session that has returned with uh, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu session as well. After, so after a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu session your thoughts are like completely wiped out um, and it's like a clean slate. 
you don't have anything any thought and you are in a completely relaxed state where you don't even have enough energy to think about anything that is bothering you everyone in the brazilian jiu jitsu community they have been very helpful very uh, warm welcoming always uh, happy to answer all the questions and tolerate your mistakes and uh, um, it has been a great experience so one thing i have observed is i am less scared about uh, sparring in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu than uh, when it comes to sparring in Taekwondo. So these uh, sparring sessions are pretty interesting. I know that I'm going to get crushed by uh, sparring by higher belts, uh, but my current goal is to try to delay submission as much as possible and uh, try to improve my defense game. And if and when there is a chance uh, an attack opens up, you know, try to take that opportunity. And you also learn a lot during the uh, sparring sessions. And there is this one specific higher belt who always used to apply the same movements to get submission. So what I have been doing is after the class I look up uh, those specific movements and try to learn defense for those specific movements and in the next class I apply those uh, defense moves against that particular uh, partner and I have been trying to learn it that way. So, so one thing I have realized from my experience so far is you cannot completely rely on uh, what is being taught in the class to improve your Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So you have to look up uh, the videos online, you have to learn, you have to spend some more time outside the class to uh, improve your Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So in that process, I stumbled upon a video from uh, John uh, Donaher. Um, that this specific video was about um, three important things every uh, beginner Jiu Jitsu uh, student should know. This was about elbow passes. Um, I absolutely loved this video and his method of explaining. So I sat through this video for about 30 minutes, rewatched the video for another 30 minutes. And I was very excited to try these moves in my next uh, training session. To my surprise, I was able to hold this defense for much longer. Um, the higher belts had to work a little bit harder to get the submission this time so this whole uh, process has been super exciting and i have started uh, consuming more and more uh, john uh, donaher's content i actually came across john donaher uh, even before i started brazilian jiu-jitsu in uh, joe rogan's podcast and then i was like who is this guy um, i'm gonna skip so I skipped his podcast now and now I have gone back to Joe Rogan's podcast with John Donoher and then Lex Friedman's uh, podcast with um, John Donoher and I have been binging on that content. If you are a beginner uh, BJJ student like me, I think you will appreciate uh, John Donoher's content and highly recommend it. Then I found uh, this course uh, on BJJFanatics.com. Uh, John Donoher has a specific course on pin escapes and turtle escapes. So I've been spending more and more time on pin escapes and turtle escapes so for the next one or two years my goal is to get better at pin escapes and turtle escapes so that has been my experience of uh, starting brazilian jiu-jitsu if you're new to brazilian jiu-jitsu like me or uh, if you wanted to try out uh, brazilian jiu-jitsu i hope uh, this uh, video has been helpful if you are a higher belt uh, watching this video i would love to learn your experience of uh, starting brazilian jiu-jitsu and what you would have done differently if you had to start your brazilian jiu-jitsu journey all over again thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe i'll make a more brazilian jiu-jitsu content i'll see you in my next video